Oh, wow, guys. Um, let's talk about this spring game. First of all, I've been talking for like the last 15 minutes to my camera, and it, ha it wasn't even flipping recording, so that's fun. Um, <laughs> I'm like out of breath from just talking my lungs up and not even talking to anything. That's great. Um, so I'm just going to go through the notes. I, I was free, kind of spitballing a minute ago, talk about the game as a whole. The game as a whole was disappointing to me. Tell it two tapes. Defense, super excited about them. Much improved. Shut that offense down on both sides. Second string and first string defense were so deep. You guys should be thrilled. Offense coordinator Armstrong is a stud. Love the guy. Absolute beast. Passionate. Um, you know, love the calls. Love the aggression. Love his little um, shimmy to the guy's face uh, after the game. If anybody watched it, you know what I'm talking about. That was uh, pretty epic. Um, the offensive line looked good in run blocking. They looked atrocious in pass pro. Defense was just shred mauling them, getting in the backfield. Tackles for loss, sacks, so that was disappointing. Um, the, the quarterbacks really didn't have much of a chance. The mismatch unit, a lot of first, second stringers together, um, you know, splitting the team up, so it's kind of hard to say or hard to tell. Um, it definitely leans more in the defense's favor, in my opinion. But, again, they had the second-string defense, and they couldn't do anything, you know, against them either. So, uh, Cam Carroll's a dude, big runs, hurtling people, definitely going to split carries, three-headed attack at running back, in my opinion. Uh, I think this guy's only going to earn more and more carries throughout the year. Um, big guy. Uh, I think he's equally as talented as the other two. Uh, Montreal's definitely number one, though, on the roster. Looked like it again last night. Looked like the best of the three. <laughs> Um, Three-head attack. Wide receivers looked very average to me. Yeah, so wide receivers looked really average. Thank God for Ricky Persall coming back. Run game was strong. We'll definitely be leaning on that this year, but have to develop a passing game. Very pedestrian passing game last night. Didn't really hit any good deep shots. All of them are really short. Receivers had to come back to it. Uh, didn't hit anybody in stride. One touchdown each. Um, and they really got helped out just to get those two touchdowns, in my opinion. Um, Napier was trying everything he could to get the offense to put some points on the board. It was just a massive struggle. Um, Mertz sucks. You know, felt like that validated my opinion on him last night. Just not a great quarterback. 200-something yards, one touchdown. Those are like the most Wisconsin numbers I've ever seen. He had multiple picks that, you know, should have been interceptions, bad throws. Um you know, just doesn't look great to me. Just an, He's just a really average quarterback. He's just not great. Um, this far in his career, you know, a different school. Um, not seeing anything different than I saw on tape from Wisconsin. Looks like the same exact guy. Uh, don't see him making any strides at Florida, even with the talent. Because, to be honest with you guys, receiver, there's a lot of young guys there it, that are talented. But are they going to play next year? I don't know. I know Andy Jean will probably get some snaps. Hopefully he can continue to develop. I think by fall, the guys in the starting rotation. Um, but Marcus Burke looked really good to me. Uh, Ricky Pearsall looked good. So we'll, we'll just have to see how things go. Uh, my, I wouldn't be scared of Florida's wide receivers at this point. You know, I think when Eugene Wilson gets on campus, um, he's definitely a guy that should get the ball or at least be – he needs to be tested. He needs to be put in there and see if if, uh, if he can compete or if he's ready to play. He might not be coming off an injury, um, you know, and coming off of being late getting in. But I don't care. I'd find ways to make plays, you know, get it to plays, you know, force the ball to him sometimes. Uh, we need somebody who's electric with the ball besides the running backs. I mean, there's nobody on the outside. All these guys are possession receivers or deep threat receivers, um, which is nice. We need that in the offense. Um, I did see a couple guys look like they're going to be able to take the top off. You know, even even uh, Xavier Henderson looked decent last night, but he looks average. I mean, when I say decent, he looked average. Um, nobody looked elite except Pierce Saul. He still looks like the number one wide receiver on this team. Um, but, yeah, quarterback portal is a must. Neither of these guys are good enough to get us to eight wins, in my opinion. The defense, it looks like an eight-plus win defense. The offense looks like a six-win offense. Um, so six to seven wins is probably the most likely outcome at this point. This team doesn't look like it's bad enough to lose to a uh, Vanderbilt again. Um, but the better teams on the roster, you're not beating them. Um, you know, LSU, 
Georgia. Um, you're just not doing it with this squad the way it is right now. And I'm talking about I really love this team. I love where we're at. I even love some of a lot of the portal guys, but I just think that we got to have a quarterback, and we don't have one right now. Um, and that's the most important position on the team. It doesn't matter if you have every other spot on the team good and just have an okay quarterback. Um, you know, unless you're Alabama and you've got five stars all around that quarterback, you know, yeah, that can get you nine, 10, 11, 12 wins. Um, but not when you have someone, you know, pedestrian with four stars. No, we've got to have an elite quarterback. So, you know, quarterback portal, again, to me, it's a must. Um, definitely, uh, defense is definitely legit. Love DC Armstrong, love his energy. Know y'all shot a little shot he took to the guy's face at the end of the game. Uh, a little hand shimmy type move. I'm not going to do it on camera, but it was absolutely hilarious. Uh, love the dude's energy. Love him way better than Patrick Tony. I think we're in good hands. This guy is like, I know y'all like Kirby Smart, but he's like Kirby Jr., in my opinion, just his attitude and just his spunk. Um, trash talker, don't give a crap. Um, awesome dude. Um, love the passion, like I said. Montreal's definitely number one back to me, all SEC. Uh, Mertz had a few good throws, one to Douglas that was real nice. Um, a nice crosser route that he hit across the middle um, that looked pretty good. So he did have some nice throws. Um, you know, I'll give him credit where credit is due. Um, the one thing, though, that I saw him do too much was he did stare down his receiver quite a bit. Jack Miller did it a whole lot more than Mertz, though. Uh, but he did go through some progressions. Uh, Shamar James, linebacker, looks better than I thought. Um, a little higher on linebacker after the spring game than I was. The young guys, Trayon Webb still needs time. He's a little small, uh, which is fine. You know, by next year, that kid's going to be a stud. He, he's going to be a very good running back for us, I think. Uh, Max Brown looks the part, athlete, big arm. Talked about him. He's still a year away, and that's unanimous between anybody that knows Gator football. Um, he won't play next year. Uh, you know, unless he just takes a miracle jump between now and fall camp, um, it's it's still the other two guys. You could tell, I mean, they didn't put him in that much. You could tell he was the third-string quarterback at this point. Um, definitely not in the mix to start right now. So another year of development by next year. You know, I'm hoping, and I think that he, he has the potential. Um, looks like he, he kind of reminds me of AR throwing the ball 100 miles an hour. He doesn't have a lot of touch on his passes. Um, he throws it too hard, but, man, he's got the arm strength. and He's got the athleticism. I'd love to see some design runs, Wildcat maybe with him, um, and, and that actually might be something we're doing because I have heard rumors that we are running the Wildcat um, in this offense, which uh, used to be really cool like 10 years ago. I'm not a super big fan of Wildcat now, uh, but whatever. Um, so, Shamar went through Treyon, Max Brown, getting Pierce Saul back. We all know that was huge. That was a must-have. Um, looking at the wide receivers, I mean, we had to have him back. Yeah, I mean, there's just no doubt about it. Um, but guy, guy's going to be good for us. Um, definitely could tell the guys were looking for him a lot in the passing game and, and targeting him, so... That was good to see. I think he puts up really good numbers next year, and it makes a lot of nice plays in the offense. Uh, Mertz did have some good timing on some of his throws and some tight windows, so that was cool. That was nice to see on some of the short and intermediate stuff. I thought he looked okay. Um, when he gets further downfield, it freaks me out. I mean, he's going to throw. Y'all are going to see it. Um, this kid's going to throw a ton of interceptions this year when he throws deep. I mean, it just floats. He throws it high. It doesn't have any velocity to it. Um, he can't get the ball in front of the receiver. They have to come back to it. I mean, all of the quarterbacks threw that way. The only one that threw out in front of the receiver, he missed him by 10 yards, was Max Brown. Um, he has more arm strength than either of the other two guys by far. Cam Jackson's a dude. Guy's going to play in the NFL. I mean, dude, I, I don't know how many batted balls I saw at the line of scrimmage. I mean, I think there was four. Balls that were batted down at the line of scrimmage, three or four last night. So that was crazy. Um, guys are just swatting the ball down. Big, long, tall defensive lineman. Tight end, Arliss Boardingham looks the par. Had a couple catches in the game. Definitely think you see him, uh, you know, getting implemented in that passing game next year. No doubt about that. Pocket collapsed a lot. They called it a muddy pocket. It was damn sure muddy. I mean, they were 
had no time to throw the ball. There was sack after sack. Pocket was collapsing. Uh, pass pro was terrible. Run blocking good. Burks moved up in the pocket pretty good. I thought I saw him a couple times break down the pocket around him. Him climb the pocket, shimmy up the pocket. You know, move up into that hole. And and, and he had some legs a little bit. I think he could take off and run. I think he could pick up some yardage better than what he was able to do at Wisconsin. And, and I look for him to finish the year with positive rushing stats, not overwhelming numbers, maybe 200, 250 yards rushing on the season. But I actually think he's going to stay out of that negative territory this year. Uh, so we'll just have to see. But I actually believe that um, if he's the starting quarterback, uh, I think it'll surprise some people. I think he'll put up a little better numbers. Definitely don't think he's a statue back there. Um, secondary's locked down. Defensive line gets all kinds of penetration. Kelby Collins looks so good. Uh, TJ Searcy looked good. I mean, we're just super deep, guys. The defense legit could be a top. I don't want to go too far because we were literally dead last. We had the worst defense in program history and in the country last year. Uh, but I actually think a lot of that was legit Patrick Tony's fault and depth, defensive line depth, um, linebacker. This team just wasn't that talented last year. Um, and I look for this team to take a huge jump. I think you're going to see a top – I don't want to go in the top 20, but I'm going to say you're going to see a top 50, uh, top 30 to 50 defense. I really believe that. I think this defense can get all the way up to top 30 next year. Um, so look for that. Let's see. A lot of tackles for loss and sacks. Pearsall had a nice, beautiful deep ball. He had to come back to it, unfortunately. But, again, beautiful catch. Um Burke's catch, with, uh, I don't know if y'all saw that, Burke made a catch, DB on his chest, caught the ball behind his back, squeezed the ball to his back, pulled him to him, and brought it all the way out of bounds. One of the best catches I've ever seen in football. Um, ESPN top 10 all day, it was amazing. So again, that guy to focus and make that catch, that was beautiful. I do think you're gonna see a lot of Marcus Burke next year, at least based on the spring. Trey Smack, what a bust. Terrible kicker, hit a nice 46 yarder at the end. Uh, but not impressed with him. Was really shocked that he wasn't our kicker last year, so it's the Mihalik show still. Definitely not going to be our starting kicker. Um, He didn't kick a lot in the game. I think they're trying to see what Trey Smack can do, but he choked twice. Easy, short kicks. Um, Yeah, one of the corn blue kickers of the year and one of the best kickers in the country, so really disappointed in him. Um, Definitely going to be out in in the market for a kicker next year. Maybe even this class, I'm not sure. Um, lots of fumbles, lots of bad snaps. That was really concerning because Equipon was out. Um, definitely think we need to find somebody, you know, a number two that can snap the ball. And these, a lot of them were not terrible snaps, and the quarterbacks just couldn't hold on to it. Just looking downfield too quick. So that was, man, that was really disturbing. I don't know. I know you guys probably saw some of that, but there was just fumble after fumble after fumble. I bet I counted six, seven snaps um, over their head, and then probably 10 bad snaps the whole game. Um, So really, really disturbing to see that. Thought Caleb Douglas looked good. Um, Definitely he's going to see the field next year. Jack Miller's trash. I'm not even going to go over him. He was was terrible. He made a a couple, a couple, literally a couple good throws the entire game. Did have a beautiful touchdown throw. Uh, But he has no arm strength. He's a noodle arm. Um, He's Luke Del Rio 2.0. All day long, um, kids just not great. If he's our starting quarterback, we're in big trouble. Um, I think the spring game sucked. If you ask me, needs to go to an exhibition and a scrimmage between another SEC team. Man, that would really draw the fans in, make it more fun for the players, be more passionate. Um, I think you'd really get to see what your team has and really measure this team. We can't tell anything from this spring game. Our defense might be that legit, and the offense might be better than what they looked. And I, it's hard to say that when you had a defense that was that bad last year. So this team, to me as a whole, I'm still six wins. Because um, I got to go off a little bit of last year and a little bit of what I saw in the spring game. Um, I, I am a little overhyped on the defense right now. I've got to come back to earth, but I do think they're going to be that good. Let's see. I do like Jack Pyburn, like his future. Thought he flashed a little bit. Offense really struggled, you know, obviously our defense is just much improved, lots of sloppy, wasted snaps. Uh, But that's pretty much all I got. I had a couple other, uh, you know, we need a safety quarterback, maybe another offensive lineman. 
I would even maybe take another linebacker in the portal. Uh, I think Shamar James and Manny Nunnery are my starting linebackers, if you ask me. I thought they looked the best of the bunch. Um, I didn't think we pushed the ball enough down the field, but that's probably because uh, the noodle arms could only throw 40 yards, and then it would fall out of the sky like a duck shot with bug shot. Um, surprised probably a little bit with Mertz's movement up in the pocket. I think he can pick up a few yards running. I already said that. That's all I got for you guys. Go Gators. Um, that's recap. Spring ball is in the books. Um, probably going to be not doing a whole lot of videos. I'll post some stuff here and there, you know, talk about some of the recruiting here and there. But I, I'm just, yeah, it, it's a big lull here coming up, guys. So this is my last one. Hope you all watch it. Like, subscribe to the channel. Go Gators.